There are three main ways to add new tracks in Ardor. Selecting the Add option in the Track menu, right-clicking in the empty area on the Editor, Mixer and Recorder views, or using the keyboard shortcut Control shift n When you create a new track, you'll be greeted with this dialog box. First, select which type of track you'd like to create in the list on the left. If you would like to work with existing audio clips or record new ones using a microphone or an external instrument, choose an audio track. If you plan on working with software synthesizers and plugins, use a MIDI track. These are the only two types of tracks you'll need to worry about for now. In the configuration section, you can choose how many tracks you would like to add, one by default. You can give your track a name, if it's a MIDI track, you can select which instrument plugin you would like it to start up with. You can choose how many channels you want it to have. If you're working with a microphone, then I would suggest mono, but if you're working with a synthesizer, then it would probably be best to go with stereo. Don't worry about per mode or record mode, these options are fine as they are. And then down the bottom, you can choose where you want this track to be added into your session. And then when you're finished with this box, click add and close. Congratulations, you now have a new track in your session. Now that you have a new track, let's go over these buttons. The red circle allows you to arm your track for recording, the M button mutes your track, the S button solos it, the P button allows you to select a different playlist for your track, which is handy if you're working with multiple melodies on a synthesizer or if you have different vocal takes that you want to switch through, the A button is for automation, and the G button is for grouping. And just like the master track, you have a handy volume fader as well. In the mixer screen, you can also see your track added here. This is the first place to go if you need to configure any inputs or outputs in your track, or if you want to add new plugins. As a handy shortcut to make things easier, pressing Shift E while in editor mode will bring up a small mixer panel that allows you to control plugins on whatever track you have selected. If you want to move your track around in your session, while you're in grab mode, you can use control with the up and down arrow keys. Now that we've added a track, let's work with some MIDI and audio.